yeah, it's obviously very he very heavy film. When I first read the script, I, I didn't couldn't believe that it was set in the 21st century. I thought, oh, this must be in the 1950s. And then you read in the fine print that it's, you know, the South, uh, this American South, 2004. Yeah, I was blown away. And I was I intimidated. No, I was, I was excited to take on a challenge like that, really. Um, not intimidated at all. It makes an issue that many people don't know about open to the, to, to the, the wide the, the public that, like I, like, I didn't know about. I mean, I knew I had heard of conversion therapy in, in bits, but not really, didn't really know the details. And it's, it's, it's quite a scary, um, it's not rooted in science. It's, it's, it's hurtful. Um, and I, I think this, this is a, a, a great film to show that there can be acceptance, there can be acceptance, but it's, it's, sometimes it can be a hard road and it shouldn't be that way. But I think there is hope. Um, I think this movie is, is here to encourage change and, and promote change and, and put an issue that is not, many people don't know about, in, into the, in the public sphere. And um, that there is hope for a better future and a more accepting and, and peaceful future. As part of the LGBT community, I'm always looking forward to like broadening the horizons of LGBTQ stories. I always kind of live by the motto that there shouldn't be a genre of film called LGBTQ, and I think the way to do that and to just universally uh, make films that appeal to everybody without putting a genre on them is to make more of them. Um, I've been working with Joel for eight years and getting the opportunity to have somebody who is an ally, an advocate, and a true supporter of the community to back something like this and bring such huge stars to a, a table like this really broadens that horizon. So being able to work on that and bring that to light was ultimately my main desire. I mean, it, it's it's so oddly uh, interesting to look at it because it's it's when you think about it it's such a diverse cast when they're our family but if I look back on it it's such a diverse cast and because of him because of his support because of who he is as a human being brought together people said yes the second he asked him you know he he showed them this some of them the script after he asked them which could have been a problem but getting to have such a supportive cast who came in wanting the right things was absolutely the right way to go I think I want humility and respect for each other. I mean, I know that's such a simple thing to understand, but we're telling it in, 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 a, in a sort of story that hasn't been told very often. And if we can just find respect and, and not really focus on what someone's about, but what at the core of their heart is, is telling you, that's the true message of this film. And my other message is to, we need to end this horrible practice. When I found out about this project, it was absolutely an opportunity that I could not deny. My heart was just, <laughs> the project was calling me and my heart was so drawn to it. Um, actually, I have had so many people in my life have had this experience and it has taken them so long to open up about it. Um, and it's a story that needs to be told. And I'm so honored that I get to share this story. And I think film is such an important medium. It is so accessible. And I'm so glad that we get to share this with, with our society. And I hope that it'll open people's hearts and minds. Um, as for an intimidation factor, definitely the story had weight. Um, I don't know if I was intimidated necessarily, but it felt that I think going into the process you had to have an open mind and an open heart and be ready for everything. On set we all became a family, so I don't think anything was intimidating other than just knowing how important it is and wanting to do justice to it. They just sent me a script and asked me, and I, Joel came over, we picked vegetables out of my garden and talked about it, and he hired me. Yeah, yeah, and um, you know, he sent me the script, and I just, I was blown away. It was such a powerfully and beautifully written thing. Like, what Joel did with, uh, with the book and turning it into something, you know, it's, people fail. Like, turning a great book into a, into a film is not an easy task, and he actually kind of 
like, you know, and I love the book, don't get me wrong, but uplifted it in the cinematic version. And um, I just, I loved it, and I'm so proud to be a part of it, and just honored that he cast me and um, thought that I could do it. Yeah, I was totally intimidated. And when I started, when I first read it, I was like, okay, so this, here's this really, like, deluded, mean guy who obviously grew up in a way that got him, you know, his experiences lead him to this point where he's just a mean person, you know, um, and, like, like uh, self-obsessed, you know, in a, in, a, in a cruel kind of way. Like, how, like, I thought, okay, well, I get it, I can do that. And I started doing it, and I, when I was first, I kind of, like, you know, practicing in my mirror in my bathroom, I couldn't do it. Like, I felt like a phony doing it, you know? I was kind of like this cartoon bad guy, and, and it was really hard. I realized I could actually do it. I had to go deep into a part of myself that's not a happy part, you know? Like, I think maybe we all have, like, an evil thing inside of us that we don't indulge. Like, you know, we all have to wrestle with dark and light. And to, like, to find that thing is pretty scary. It feels like the culmination of a lot of work. Um, Joel has been, you know, working on this for the past year and a half. We've been collaborating a lot, and um, it's time to celebrate, you know? I think uh, we've made something we can be proud of. Yeah, every major LGBTQ group has gotten behind this film, which I think is the biggest success for me personally, because now I can really spread the message, um, and we've united all these groups behind Indian conversion therapy, so it's, it's wonderful. I think we got a, a long way to go. Obviously the country is in turmoil right now, and it shouldn't be a controversial message to talk about basic human rights, but it is. I don't care where you are on the political spectrum. Um, we can all agree that humans are humans and they deserve to live. And, and I hope that our country gets to that point no matter where people are on the spectrum. I mean, I hope that they are against conversion therapy first off and that they, they go to our stoperracing.com website and find next steps to do. But, but I also really hope that they understand that this type of bigotry that created conversion therapy needs to go. It's a much longer battle ahead of us. So that's, that's you know, I just want people to become activists, I guess. <laughs> it's time that everybody yeah, is we've got to, we've got to. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think that, that we've also lost like good conservatives, you know, people like my parents who, who still care about the country and care about good values. Um, I hope that we get those back and that it's not just the party of one person. more complicated from the inside than you imagine from the outside. It's very imagine just a judge conversion therapy if you're a liberal minded person as a hateful um, group of people creating something hateful. The, the complicated nature of it is I think everybody involved and we tried to make this so in the film is trying to help. They, they're doing it out of love. I think it's really about education and awareness. And we wanted to draw attention to that. It's the reason why Garrett's memoir was worth turning into a movie. Well, I hope that they're inflamed enough, like me, to do something about it. And it's easier to make a phone call than to spend a year and a half of your life making a movie about it. And it's an easy step you can take. Um, well, it fe the, the movie very clearly had something that I, was uh, uh, of artistic significance, but it also had... Um, uh, real cultural and, uh, and um, historical significance as well in the sense that this is a project that actually can elicit some change. Um, so it felt like like a family drama as well as something that I was like, oh wait, maybe we can, maybe maybe I have an opportunity to be a part of something that can change, can, can move the needle forward. Um, and that was new for me. I'd never had an opportunity to be a part of a project like that. So it, it experiences somebody who's been through conversion therapy. I, the last thing I wanted was for them to see the movie and feel as though their story wasn't treated with justice or, or taken uh, or understood. So the fact that it's a true story made me really, uh, it was a double edged sword. It made me feel really um, terrified, but also like I, like I was inspired and motivated too. Yeah, really dream, dream, dreamy cast. Um, and Joel, I think, is, I mean, really one of the best actors working um, and doesn't get I think the, the, the I think his performance in Loving was one of the best performances of the year a few years ago 
and he deserves the world. And I really wanted to work with him. And then when Nicole and Russell came on, I, I um, uh, it's a it's a really blessed a blessed group of of actors. Um, so I, yeah, I feel blessed to work with them. Um, oof. Well, I don't I don't think I have any specific thing I want them to take away. I hope that they learn about something that is happening in the world today that they didn't know was happening, or the, then the specifics of how it goes down. I hope that maybe somebody who is considering sending their kid to a therapy, which is a very real thing, will see it somewhere in America and change their mind. I hope that a, a, a young man or young woman or um, will uh, uh, who's a part of the LGBTQ community will see it and not feel less alone. Um, there's really a, no shortage of things I, I hope people will take from it. So. I mean, it was so beautifully written about by Garrett in the book, and then the way in which Joel had, I think, constructed the screenplay. I was just, it, it wasn't. It was actually written and done with such love that, and delicacy. And I think that the film itself, I hope that people see the nuances in it, because it isn't done where it's, um, it's sort of trying to create like a melodrama. I mean, it's really done in a humanized way, and it's and he tries to be to show all sides, um, and then at the same time you've got Martha and Garrett, who are real people, and Herschel, who's a real person, and that requires a sense of um, care and honor when you're doing that with somebody's life, you know, and there's an enormous amount of trust from them because they're going here. You, can, you now have the ability to interpret me and my story. I mean, that's terrifying, right? So they're amazingly, yeah, trusting and, and, and of us. And they take away some scenes. Love. And that you can navigate through um, so many things with kindness and care and compassion and love. And the idea of the family staying together um, with different beliefs and different viewpoints, you can still stay together as a family if you emphasize the love. I mean, my initial reaction was just like, I have to be a part of this if I can. You know, if they'll have me, I will give anything to, to be involved. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I was the same as you. I, I knew conversion therapy existed. I had no idea it was still as prevalent as it was. You know, you read the script and you're like, this probably took place in like the 90s or something like that. It's 2004 that this was, you know, this was all happening for Garrett. And now it's 2018 and it's still happening. So it just like fired me up and motivated me and um, made me want to do anything that I could to kind of try and make a change. I hope that people leave the movie um, with a lot of empathy, you know, a lot of empathy for the parents who send their kids off because I think that, you know, you see here a family that's that's fearful and they, they care about their child and they love their child and they want to protect him and they think that they're doing the right thing. And so I'm hoping that what's going to happen is that this movie plays that out for you so that you don't ever have to go through this, you know, because it's like, hopefully by the end of the movie everyone's going to arrive at the same point where it's like, we all love our kids, we all want to protect them. But this is so clearly not the right way to do that, you know? Uh, no, I mean, not any more intimidated than I would be about anything else. But no, I was really happy and, and, and proud uh, to be a part of this. And uh, I, I, too, and I think a lot of us on the film were surprised and educated to find out that this went on, that it was per as pervasive as it was, that it's still legal in as many places as it is. Um, and, it, and, and I think you could feel on set all of us kind of banding together to sort of to, to tell that truth. Um, and, uh, and Garrett was on set a lot. And so, um, you know, the only thing intimidating about it was feeling like maybe you weren't doing it justice or being honest about it or servicing the story. But Joel and, and Garrett both made that made that so easy to do, um, and um, I was just really proud and grateful to be on the team, uh, telling this story that I think not that many people know. The thing that I that I think you do take away, the thing that I think the movie makes clear without beating you over the head with it, is 
that this still exists, that the people who are doing it think they're doing the right thing, and that there needs to be, we as a, as a nation need to collectively agree that that's not okay, and 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 need to do what we can to to be to be part of more and more states passing legislation that 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 say you can't do this, uh, and uh, and I think the movie does a great job of, of sending you out of the theater feeling inspired, but not necessarily feeling like you've been taught a lesson. Um, so, uh, but again, that's that's all Joel and speaks to uh, what a great job he did with this film.